can we just cut the shit about men not being abused? Women abuse men every single day. They psychologically abuse them. They emotionally abuse them. They verbally abuse them. They financially abuse them. And they physically abuse men. Get the fuck out of here. And ladies, let me fill you in on something because a lot of y'all either on the verge of losing a good man, have lost a good man, or or, or listen, he about to be out the door, right? And, and it's because you... You, you accuse him of so much. You accuse him of cheating. You accuse him of entertaining people. You accuse him of stepping out. Do you know this man is at work? Do you know this man is really spending time with the boys? Do you know this man is really taking the long way home because he don't want to have to come home and deal with your shit and listen to your crap? Ladies, learn how to get yourself a hobby. Learn how to shut your mouth sometime. Learn how to make sure that your spirit and, and, and your thoughts are intact. Make sure your mindset is intact how about you figure out what these what these next business ventures are figure out how you can expand on your and his portfolio like it's ridiculous ladies you guys sit up here and be talking about this man is cheating and he's entertaining other women and literally all he is out doing is getting a peace of mind or providing for you as go get the fuck out and let me just say this when she can't encourage you and build you up like you literally carried her on your shoulders you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders you literally will walk over fire for her but yet she doesn't uplift and encourage you you want to know why because she's self-centered she can't do that with you because she hasn't dug out the stuff that she needs to fix on the inside of her because and, and, and therefore she operates out of all the insecurity the internal insecurities that she holds so guys it's not that it's you she can't even uplift and encourage herself because she ain't dug out her shit girl fix it get the fuck out of here and let me tell you something else you have to stop looking to her for empathy because she doesn't see you as such she doesn't see you as someone that needs empathy she sees you as someone that's supposed to continuously keep going and keep, keep grinding and keep uh, uh providing and keep protecting and she doesn't she doesn't see you as needing any type of empathy she sees you as something that she can use she sees you as an opportunity she doesn't see you for who you really are she is not psychologically or mentally intelligent enough to see you for the person that you really are she sees you as as a pocketbook she sees you as as a credit card she sees you as a wallet that she can use and that is the reason why she does not have empathy for you and let me just say this y'all have to understand you have to realize that if she's not taking accountability with you do you understand where she's coming from with other people see this is the thing y'all when a woman does not take responsibility for her actions when it comes to her mate she also doesn't take responsibility or accountability in anything else so she got problems with people at the job she got problems with her family members she got problems with her friends she got a problem with every single aspect of the relational uh, of, of the people that she has relationship with because she thinks she's always right. She thinks she knows everything. She operates out of pride and ego. Girl, fix it. Get the fuck out of here. You know what, y'all? I didn't even wash my face and brush my teeth yet, but I woke up with this, right? And, and you guys have to realize that you keep on putting yourself in situations that aren't for you. You keep on putting yourself in situations that are not conducive to your healing process, to your growth process, to your financial success process, to your emotional well-being success. And you wonder why you can't get ahead. You wonder why you're not able to grow or you're not able to thrive. It's because you continuously put yourself in environments that are not becoming of those things. You put yourself in environments with people in situations that are not conducive to your future uh, 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 being better, that are not conducive to you being better as a person. And 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 this is the thing I posted it the other day, but I don't think y'all heard me. You will never be able to thrive in an environment that is against you. There are people that are against you. Uh, some of them are your spouses. You, you have to understand that the longer you stay in that type of environment, the more you are going to uh, not be able to be in a certain headspace in order to do the work on yourself. The more you stay in that environment, the more it's going to stunt your growth. The more you stay in that environment, you're going to keep on going back and forth, teeter-tottering with the idea and space of, 
oh, should I stay? Should I go? Like some of you are so confused right now. It's because you're in an environment that does not allow you to thrive. You stay there. You get used. You get abused. You get pummeled uh, uh, with with words of uh, belittling and, and, and degrading and, and you get called names and, and you wonder why you can't thrive. It's because you're in an environment that is stunning your growth. You guys have to understand you only get one chance at this thing. You, 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 you act like you have all this time in the world and you see people are dropping off every single day. And you guys sit up and you stay in environments that are killing you. You stay in an environment that is, that is abusive you stay in an environment where you're miserable. Like you got, you guys got to hear this message, like for real. I mean, you say that you want better, yet all of your actions point to you not wanting that for yourself or those around you. Got to hear. Let me also say this, guys. You know how it goes. You know that you notice things at the beginning. You know that you have given her the benefit of the doubt. You know that you have given her space and grace. You know that you have shown her mercy for the ways in which she has acted out. You have to understand there's one thing when somebody apologizes and take accountability, but there's another thing when someone disregards you and sits up there and tries to point the finger at you for everything, when in reality it's because they need to do the work on themselves and they're failing to do that. Therefore, they're always going to look at you as the problem. So... You guys have to understand that the more you accept this type of behavior, the worse it is going to get. She is not going to take responsibility. She's not going to take accountability. She is not going to apologize if you continue to accept this type of treatment from her. So, guys, I want to encourage you. Call out that shit. All that fuck shit she be doing, call it out. And if she has a problem with it and she don't and if she fails or or, or refuses to want to level up and change her ways then you already know what you need to do but stop accepting fuck treatment if you claim to be such a great man and you don't accept this type of treatment okay then why are you still there why are you still accepting it fuck out of here so what's up y'all how y'all doing um you know it this is men's mental health month right and as you guys know there is so much healing in nature there is so much healing in in solitude and oneness and so right now, I want to show you guys where I am right now, okay? I am at Zion National Park in Utah, okay? Look, look at this place, you guys. Look at this place. It's so, 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 so gorgeous. It's, it's, it's super surreal, honestly. The beauty of this place, the peacefulness of this place is beyond. And so I want to encourage you guys. Guys, make sure that you're taking time for yourself make sure that you are going into those places of solitude and, and, and confinement to where you can really refocus to where you can really think for yourself where you can really uh not think for yourself but you can really take time to think about yourself you guys you think about everybody else all the time it's time for you guys to start focusing on yourself you are no good to anybody else unless you're good to yourself first and, 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 and you know that there are so many different aspects um, of nature. You know, we got waterfalls, we got deserts, we got oceans, we got be we got we have so many things in nature that that are, are healing and, and calm to us. And, and you guys have to utilize what you have around you, right, to make sure you're focusing on your purpose, your calling, your future your emotional well-being, your financial success, your your family structure. Make sure you're focusing on things that are going to bring you joy, that are going to bring you happiness, that are going to be, uh, that are going to make things better for your future and even for those people that are attached to you. Those people, those generations to come, like they're going to be affected by what you do or don't do right now while you're living. You only get one, we only get one chance at this. So make sure that you're spending it, like making sure that that you take that you take time, that you take time to just live. Take time to live, you guys. It's good for your mental health. And also, you have to understand that when you spend time in nature, there there is something that happens, right, to where 
it, it, it uh, uh, your capabilities expand, your potentials, uh, uh, your potentials expand. Um, so make sure that whatever you do, make sure to take time for yourself. Make sure to take time out in nature. Make sure you take time to heal yourself from the inside out. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how much clout you have. None of that matters if you're not taking time for yourself to just be and just to live. And ladies, 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 let me tell you this. Give that man time and space. Give him space to be able to think. Stop being up his ass all the time. Give him some time. Sometimes he just wants to be out in nature. Sometimes he might want to get in his truck and ride. Sometimes he might want to get on his bike and ride. Sometimes he just wants to go outside and not, and, and, and take a ride. Let him, let him go out in the yard by himself sometime, ladies. Don't think that it's all about you because at the end of the day, the more you think that it's all about you, the more you're stuffing everything down for him that makes him feel like he doesn't matter. I appreciate y'all. And, and shout out to all the men out there that continue every single day, even though you're not in the mental space that you want to be in yet. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Have a good day. And ladies, let me fill you in on something because a lot of y'all either on the verge of losing a good man, have lost a good man, or, or, or listen, he about to be out the door, right? And, and it's because you... You, you accuse him of so much. You accuse him of cheating. You accuse him of entertaining people. You accuse him of stepping out. Do you know this man is at work? Do you know this man is really spending time with the boys? Do you know this man is really taking the long way home because he don't want to have to come home and deal with your shit and listen to your crap? Ladies, learn how to get yourself a hobby. Learn how to shut your mouth sometime. Learn how to make sure that your spirit and, and, and your thoughts are intact. Make sure your mindset is intact how about you figure out what these what these next business ventures are figure out how you can expand on your and his portfolio like it's ridiculous ladies you guys sit up here and be talking about this man is cheating and he's entertaining other women and literally all he is out doing is getting a peace of mind or providing for you as go get the fuck out guys you got to be more careful with yourself you got to start taking care of yourself more the more you try to mask the pain or the agony or the depression or the anxiety or childhood trauma or anything else you have going on, the anger, the more you try to mask it with substances and alcohol, the closer you put yourself to not being here anymore. Um, so just, guys, I just encourage you to really go deeper within yourself and look within yourself to see what it is that you need to fix. Because if you're masking things with substances and alcohol, then you're not dealing with them. And the more you're not dealing with them, the more you're going to drive yourself over the edge. Yes, people may be saying things. Yes, people may be doing things. But ultimately, it's up to you to change yourself for the better. Um, don't allow someone to drive you over the edge to where... You can't return because we need you guys like men. You have to understand that we need you. We can't we can't do it without you. And anybody that says that 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 you don't matter and that your opinion and what you do doesn't matter. It's a lie. Don't believe the lies of the people around you that have shown that they don't care about you. We need you here. Well, if, you, if there's a substance abuse problem, if there's an alcohol problem, please do your best to get the help that you need so that way you can still continue on she's not worth you taking yourself out have a good day i'm gonna need y'all to stop playing victim because sometimes what happens is things happen to you and i understand that but instead of putting your big girl panties on and actually doing your work you walk around blaming other people and, and tainting things and speaking negative things you have to understand that if you don't do your work from that past hurt, you're going to continue to think of yourself and look at yourself as the victim. You're going to keep on going around the same mountain because you're not digging your shit out. If you want to have a better life, then you have to think better. You have to speak better over yourself and you have to make sure that you're digging out that hurt, that trauma and that drama from that past relationship or else you're going to spew negativity into a new connection, into a new relationship and also into yourself. Out of here.
say this, ladies. A lot of y'all will sit up here and have a good man, a great man, a man of stature, a man of value, a man of valor, one that has integrity, one that supports your business, one that supports your dreams. And you will sit up here and instead of taking care of that man without him asking, you got him hitting around the stuff. You got him asking you for stuff. You got him begging you for stuff. Girl, if you got a good man, do those little things that he likes. Provide some of those things that he really likes. If you know that he uses a certain shaving cream, get him a case of that shaving cream. If you know that he likes certain water, send him a surprise case of water. If you know that he likes candles and body washes and smell good stuff, send that to him as a surprise. That man should not be having to sit up here and tell you what he likes. And girl, y'all sit up there and act like you don't know how to be attentive. Be attentive to him. Watch him so close. Doug good things watch him so close that you know what kind of cologne he likes and surprise him with that that you know what kind of body wash he likes what kind of beard oil he likes what kind of lotion he likes what what kind of socks he likes girl you should be so attentive and so into you better have a note in your phone or a tablet where you write stuff down and be that attentive to him if you have a great man because baby you know there's so many women that's ready to take your spot do you understand that there are women out here that are doing these type of things that that without the man asking? Girl, you be slacking. You got a great man, but yet you be slacking. He can't even get you to buy him a candle if he like a candle. He can't get you to get him the right pair of boxers or, or, or the right pair uh, 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 of sneakers. He can't get you to get his facial stuff without, you, without him asking or hitting around to it. You got to fuck out of here. Let me just talk to you for a minute, okay? You have to understand that the psychological and emotional state that she's in, she is going to continue to self-sabotage and she's also going to sabotage you. You keep on trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. You keep on trying to figure out um, uh, uh, how to help her, but yet you're not even helping yourself. You keep on putting yourself on the back burner while you put her on this pedestal. And, and, and it's not that she needs to earn it, but it's the simple fact that her actions don't even display somebody that needs to be put on a pedestal. You sit up here and, 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 and you uh, 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 appease her and you sit up here and you act like you don't have a backbone. Like a lot of y'all, like guys, a lot of y'all are going through shit that you don't even have to go through. And it's because you have to grow a backbone. The the more you sit up there and try to people please and appease and, and, and do what's best for everybody else, the more you put yourself on the back burner, the more anguish and anxiety and unfulfillment you go through. What is it that you need to fulfill for yourself? What is it that you need to fulfill for your purpose? What is it that you need to fulfill for your for your uh, for your future? And how is it that everybody else's psychological and emotional state is important to you except for your own? You cannot continue to think that you're going to have a better life when you are continuously around people that don't want that for you. You're in an environment that is just sucking you dry. You're in an environment that is just taken away from you. You're in an environment that is sitting up there and causing detriment to you. You are choosing to stay in this environment. Stop blaming everybody else, guys. You have to look in the mirror. The more you look in the mirror, you're, the more you're going to be able to see yourself. The more you're going to going to be able to change things for the better but the more you stay in this in, in this environment with her causing all this turmoil and strife the more she's argumentative the more she sits up there and pokes at the bear and, and provokes you the longer it is going to take you to heal the longer it is going to take you in order to fulfill your goals and you're going to keep on going around the same mountain around the same tree experiencing the same things because your ass don't fucking stand up guys wake up Stand up for yourself. You got to get away from people that are not for you. You got you got to get away from that woman that is not for you. It's ridiculous because you guys sit up and you call me and, and I'm telling you guys certain things. And then you call me again and it's like, oh, well, this and this has happened. Oh, because you didn't stand up for yourself. Because you didn't grow a backbone. Because you didn't teach yourself how to be uh, better for yourself and those around you. Guys, you got to take responsibility for your actions. The more you continue to, to not take accountability for your own actions, the more it says a lot about yourself. What emotional state you're in, what psychological state you're in, what childhood trauma and drama you went through that you're choosing to not deal with. Deal with your shit so you can have a better future, guys. Some of y'all stay in marriages and, and, and relationships and connections and committed connections based on the simple fact that it's familiar to you. 
because you didn't get the proper nurturing because nobody has ever showed you how much they really care about you in action. They say they love you. They say they care about you, but yet they don't show you in action and you stay there. You stay there. So then therefore it comes back on you. The detriment comes back on you. The fault comes back on you. What are you going to do with your life? You only get one chance. What are you going to do with your life? What are you doing for your own mental health and wellness? Have a good day.